Yo, what is good guys? It's JDL. Welcome back to the Expansion Team Rebuild. This is episode two. We are here in season four. At the end of last episode, Michael Porter Jr. left our team and it crushed our soul, our spirit. Um, so I recorded the intro for this earlier. Somehow I was muted. So yes, I made a trade for Jonathan Isaac. I traded Mitchell Robinson in a second round pick for him straight up. We took the Portland Trailblazers first round pick. We traded it for two future Sacramento Kings picks. And then I sim the season. Then I realized my mic was muted. So I've got my surfer look on for the Honolulu Breeze rebuild. We're shredding the Narnar, rebuilding the team. Right now, we are the fifth seed at the trade deadline. And um, yeah, we are the fifth seed. Portland, that's why we traded their pick because I noticed they were doing pretty good. They got a good solid squad. Um, yeah, we're the fifth seed right now. We're 29 28. So it looks like the NBA is really weak in the West because a lot of bad teams are in the playoff hunt right now. But basically, we're, we're in weird mediocrity mode, right? Like, we are decent. We got a lot of lot of good players but no great players so not where you want to be as a franchise so we're gonna see here at the trade deadline if there's anything we can do to boost up this squad try to get some better players in here i don't know man we're gonna make this trade jaden mcdaniels Deshaun tate and our 25 year old to get off their salaries um we're really we're gonna let Derek white expire get the salary cap space from the expiring contract we'll re-sign this dude he's an 82 oh, 81 overall at 22 years old that is amazing boom we'll make this trade that's a big pickup for us. So right now we're going mailed in, Derek White, Taylor Horton Tucker, Jonathan Isaac, that center we just picked up, Jackson Hayes, Keon Johnson, Pearson, the promising younger shooting guard we've got going on here. He could help us be the future. You know what, we're actually gonna start him. Why are, Why would we start Derek White? We, we, we wouldn't start Derek White, we wouldn't do that. Uh, yeah, we need this dude to play big for us. And now that we have that guy, honestly, I don't really feel like there's a need to have Jackson Hayes. He's on a bigger contract. This is, again, another thing that could help us maybe save some salary space. But people don't want to give us good offers here. We should have decent salary cap space next year. We have a lot of guys we got to resign, though. Like, Johnson, Isaac has to be re-signed. So that might eat up all of our salary cap space. Uh, is a little, I don't think we're gonna have a lot of salary cap space to bring in a big free agent because of how many guys we gotta bring back. Contract extension wise, nobody, <laughs> nobody. Jonathan Isaac wants to test free agency. If we lose him, it's not the end of the world. It would be a bummer though. So let's see how we do. I think we're gonna be a playoff team. Six seed right now. We should be a playoff team here in our fourth year. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, LaMelo Ball is the MVP. We're the eighth seed, which means we're gonna be in the play-in games, but okay. Okay, so we are the eighth seed. Let's simulate this play-in and we are eliminated. We did not make the, well, we made, we were the eighth seed. I don't know, does that count as making the playoffs if you're an eighth seed? I guess we missed the playoffs. So we have a lottery pick, which honestly is gonna be better for us long-term than having made that. So the NBA wants to change the rule on lottery picks. That was approved 30 to six. Players are also eligible now. Dang, okay, so this is an interesting, uh, interesting turn of events here. Some rule changes going on. I wonder if that affects this season. We have the 17th pick. Ooh, wow, the Thunder cleaned up. Fourth pick, fifth pick. Our coach, Donald. <laughs> Donald Isley, he's doing an okay job, I guess. I don't know, we were the eighth seed, it's not bad. Let's try to bring in a shot doctor. We signed him. Dopeness. The NBA draft. I mean, we could, we could, I mean, do we try to trade the pick? I feel like we have enough young guys. We need to just start getting some like, some heat. I don't know, I guess we have to make the pick. We are getting trade offers though. 31 trade offers, wow. I mean, wow, these are some decent players I'm getting offered. The only thing is I don't really wanna take on a lot of their salaries. Um, the Wizards will give us two first round picks. I wish I'd noticed how they did last season. Rockets will give us two first round picks. I noticed they just did bad and they gave their pick to the Thunder. No, that was Utah and Clippers. Okay, the Rockets, can I see? I wish I could learn more about their team really quick. You know what, let's take this Rockets trade. I like to pick up two first rounders. We're gonna have a lot of first round picks soon. Team player options, bringing back this guy, Sheldon. He might be the guy for us. Qualifying offers to the big center we traded for and Keon Johnson. We're gonna offer Giannis a contract, because we can. I mean, Tatum is a free agent here. Cade, Jalen Green, Mobley, and Mitchell. What's up? You know what, let's offer Tatum a contract. This is our chance to get a big boy, everybody. Ah, this is scary. And of course, we'll offer Isaac a contract as well. Jason 
Mother Truck and Tatum agreed to a contract with us. That is huge. I think he just won finals MVP. So that's insane. Okay, Giannis signs with the Celtics. So even though we get Tatum, Giannis does go to the Celtics. We're not gonna be able to bring back any of these guys from the Tatum signing because it'll take us over the salary cap, but that is fine with me. We can bring back Keon Johnson. So we will do that. Bring him on for a five year deal. We're gonna have some guys signed long, long term. It's nice, bro. Yes, sir. Okay, so we have a squad now. We finally get a huge A1 level player, but we have almost no players on the roster now. Yeah, we're we're gonna need to fill out this roster with some pieces, but good thing we have all those draft picks because those draft picks are definitely gonna help us since we're gonna have a hard time. And we can actually bring Derek White back. We kind of cut him for salary reasons. Now we'll just bring him back on a one-year deal just to you know play for us this one season. We're gonna need a backup. Isaac, I mean, we can't... Really, can we bring Isaac in? Jonathan Isaac is back, I guess. Three years, Derek White is in. We don't have enough space for Derek White, actually. <laughs> Corey Joseph, you wanna sign with the team, bro? 5.09 for two? Yes, sir. All right, all of a sudden, we are looking like a real squad, bro. This was a big off season, a huge off season. We got Jason Tatum. The man, one of the great scorers in the league. We still got Theo, the point guard, Jonathan Isaac, Horton Tucker, Hayes, Keon John. Man, Horton Tucker come off the bench now. Maybe we can trade him to get more depth instead of being a little, because now we're thin. Like last year we were the team that had unlimited depth, but no stars. Now we're like, we still need one more star, to be honest. Like we still have to figure out a way to make that trade happen for one more star, but look at this, man, we're doing great. So the rotation, Theo, Keon Johnson, Horton Tucker, Tatum, and Jackson Hayes. Off the bench, we got Isaac. Low key, I think let's play Tatum at the three and start Isaac. That'll give us way more defensive versatility. So that makes Horton Tucker our sixth man with Sheldon Pearson, who somehow didn't get better. He's a really high rating for a young player. Didn't really get better. That's really disappointing to see but maybe we could just trade him. Uh, again, we're really thin. We're really thin. We're playing some bad, let's play an eight man rotation, honestly. I don't know about nine man rotation when we don't go nine deep. So this year we own the Nets first round pick, we own our first round pick, and we own the Kings first round pick. Or no, so this year we own the Nets first round pick. Next year we own our pick and the Kings pick. The year after that we own our pick and the Kings pick and the Rockets pick, so. We're loaded on first round picks. The Nets this year, let's see how their roster is looking. They've got KD, Harden is on the decline and a weaker team. Honestly, is there a chance that the Nets are bad? We'll monitor that for sure. Let's go to the trade deadline. I really like the way our team is going. I think we're gonna contend for a top four seed. Maybe, we'll see. Let's say March 5th is where we will go to. All right, the Knicks have offered us Emmanuel quickly and this guy ah, for Sheldon Pearson, who has just not been improving, and Jackson Hayes. This is a toughie. Quickly is a definite upgrade over Sheldon Pearson. A definite upgrade. I don't know. He's on a big contract. Ah, this is a tough one. This is a real tough one because we're going to have to re-sign both these guys. They're going to get expensive. I'm gonna decline, I'm gonna decline, I'm gonna decline, I'm gonna decline. That is a toughie though. That is definitely a toughie. I thought about it. I'm thinking about it still. It's still gonna be on the table. That's the thing. We can always go back to it. So far, we haven't been that good. All right, we've been offered an interesting trade here. Keon Johnson and Sheldon Pearson for Trey Mann and Moses Moody. It's kind of a weird trade. We're basically trading similar players for each other, but the Warriors players are just a little bit better. Um, and Moody here is actually on like a very similar contract to our guy, Keon. I don't know, this just seems like a good trade. We're gonna take it. All right, I low key feel like we do need a backup center. I feel like that's one reason we might not be doing so well right now. All right, so we need someone we can actually afford who's not gonna suck a lot. <laughs> They could suck a little bit, but not a lot. All right, let's try to sign this guy. All right, hey, okay, there we go. Sign him, now we can play a nine-man rotation, Got get our guys some rest. Horton Tucker, stop trying to sneak into the starting lineup. It's not happening, bud. At the moment, we're the three seed. We're 32 and 23. That's honestly 
not bad, especially looking at the top team is not the Pelicans here. They're not doing too great. They got Zion though. We don't have an answer for Zion. They have a good team. Wow, okay. The Thunder with all their picks. They Looking pretty good too. All right, all right. So I mean, obviously we, we we have like the least star power, but we do just have a lot of good players. Like we gotta give it, give ourselves a little pat on the back here. In the East, the Nets are the worst team, and we own their unprotected first round pick. And that rule change means we're guaranteed a top two pick from earlier in the video. So that is huge. We're definitely gonna get a top two pick. This is working out great for us. Now this isn't next season, but let's take a look at something. The Sacramento Kings are 27 and 20. 27. There's a chance they fall off here, bro. This team doesn't look like it has a pathway to get a lot better. I think we're in a great spot right now. We could get a number one overall pick or a number two overall pick already with Jason Tatum on the team. Things are on the up and up here in Honolulu. So we're not going to do anything at the trade deadline. We're going to go to the end of the season. Psych! We're going to do some contract extensions. I always forget about contract extensions. I don't know if it'll actually let me resign anyone. Talon will resign. I feel bad. I feel like I've tried to trade Taylor like a hundred times. Uh, Jackson wants to test free agent. That's fine. All right, Taylor, bring you back. I don't want to give you too much money here. All right, we've assigned Taylor to a big extension. Awesome stuff, boys. All right, I'll see you guys in the playoffs, bro. We are a three seed right now. We coming for that championship. Okay, LaMelo Ball with a second MVP. Good for LaMelo, man. Good for LaMelo. Hey, Jason Tatum, all NBA first team for my Honolulu Breeze. That's what I'm talking about, baby. 28, eight and five. That is pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. All right, so we're going against another expansion team. The St. Louis Sound, they got Kyrie Irving, Markinen, they got a pretty mid team. I think we're gonna smack these boys all around. Let's see, we do take game one, two. They take game three, we take game four. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna smack them. All right, we are in the second round here against the OKC Thunder. They're a little weak at small forward. They have our boy Deshaun Tate. I don't know, I feel like we're a better team than them, but they take game one. We take game two. We take game three. They don't have an answer for Jason Tatum. I know they don't have an answer for Jason Tatum. And we are in the conference finals. This is the furthest we've ever gone as a franchise. We got the Pelicans. They got Zion, Ingram. They got a squad, bro. We got a... Oh, we got to be careful. This team is really good, bro. The Pelicans are my nemesis. All right, Jackson Hayes, you're going to have to play some big minutes against these guys. You, we need you bad. Zion the boy. We definitely got a guard with Jonathan. Damn, Jason Tatum's a 94 overall on defense, but we're going to have to throw him on uh, Ingram. That's the thing about our team, though. Tatum and... Isaac, we got some we got some lockdowns, bro. We got some actual lockdowns on this team. Bro, Zion is really the only thing I'm worried about, honestly. Ingram doesn't scare me. Patient, we got to limit transition, crash the defensive glass, play physical. We got to do this, bro. Here we go. Game one, they beat us by seven. Game two, we take that one. We take game three. Okay, I think we have a game plan here that could work. Game four is us, or game five is us. It goes to game seven, okay. Oh my God. On the road in New Orleans. And uh, we won the first half. They dominated that third quarter. All right, we lost the game. Oh my God, we won! What? Okay, that must have been an insane comeback. Here we are. The breeze, baby, in the finals. I did not expect us to make the finals this year, but 4-1, 4-2, 4-3. Hopefully this isn't the one where we lose four games because that's where it's trending. Um, okay, the Pistons, bro. Cade Cunningham, Sadiq Bey, they got Marcus Smart. They got a they got a good team, man. All right, shit, here we go. Wow, I, we could win the title. I think the Pistons are gonna be a really tough out for us. I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. They got a good team. They got a pretty good team. I think we can do this though. Cade Cunningham is the boy we have to to worry about we're gonna throw Tatum on him all right let's see how the series goes we do take game one by three we take game two we take okay okay we're up three nothing yes we have brought the breeze to the finals we have won the finals Jason Tatum the finals MVP back-to-back -back finals MVP for Tatum let's not forget about that he won with the Celtics the year before he signed with us and now 
Ladies and gentlemen, things are about to get really spicy for our breeze. It was looking rough at the end of last episode. They're gonna eliminate the five second back to basket. I don't know how this is gonna affect things, but that might make Zion a little dangerous. The draft lottery, we should have the best odds. We do have the best odds. It could be us or the Lakers, the Mavericks. Okay, we have the third pick. I guess I didn't understand that rule change very well, but the third pick in the draft coming off an NBA Finals. Yo. We are different. Uh, head coach, where did our boy go? We just won a championship. I want to bring that man back. I want to, I don't know where he is. Let's bring in Ty Lu. Tentative. He rejected. Why would you not want to be our coach, bro? We just won the championship. We literally just won the championship. I don't know, man. I guess I guess we can bring in Kirk Lowry. I don't, does the system matter? It might matter. I don't know. I don't know about that system, man. He just seems like he's the best coach. We'll bring him in for only a two-year deal. I don't I don't really want to go too far with him. All right, I'm really trying to choose between Chester Ingram or Christian Forbes. Let's go with Forbes. I don't know. Hopefully that was the right pick. 77 overall. Okay, all these other guys are not 77 overall so we made the right pick 19 years old 77 overall amazing rookie this is an amazing situation team player options we got nobody and there is Kevin Durant we cannot afford him Jokic holy cow if we could bring in Jokic that would be awesome but we can't uh, we have a lot of work to do we got to resign Jackson Hayes Trey man and that's really all we have to do um, <laughs> We don't really have that much work to do. Jackson Hayes, he's gonna want a big boy contract. We'll give him the long term. We'll throw on the team option. We're not gonna do a bird. We're gonna do a flat, um, but we'll pay him more. I, I like throwing out the flat deals, as you guys know. Flat deals are my team. So we sign Jackson Hayes. We're gonna try to bring back Trey Mann. We can't actually fit him under the salary cap, so I think we're just gonna have to take the qualifying offer with him, which is a bit of a bummer. But, you know, it is what it is. Player progress shown. The team is progressing. The team is looking nice. A lot of the team is signed long term, too, which is really good. Okay, so Tatum should be leading us to a second title in a row, unless some other teams got a lot better, which is always a possibility. That's the one thing about our team is we're really, we really do need a second star. Like, we are just, we're really just kind of really good across the board. We don't have that, like, second star, but it didn't matter. We did win the championship. Hopefully the first of many here. Uh, we start the year fourth in the power ranking. The Kings have De'Aaron Fox and Halliburton still with Bagley. They're, sh they're probably going to be a decent team, it looks like, unfortunately for us. This is the team we own the pick of this year. Uh, Halliburton's going to be around. Looks like a lot of their guys are going to be around. So, I don't know. Maybe these Kings picks won't pan out, but it's just good to bolster the roster you know bolster the roster bolster the roster so let's go to the trade deadline I don't think we're gonna make any trades I I really like our team um, we're probably gonna do some contract extensions when it gets there but we'll see when we get there okay the day before the trade deadline we're third in the conference third in the power ranks uh, the Thunder and the Pelicans, two teams we handled last year, uh, are ahead of us. So the Thunder, bro, 48 and 8. They are killing it. But I don't really... I mean, this Matthew Oliver dude is a beast. A 94 overall center. That is... That's pretty scary. Um, in the East... Oh. Ooh. Ooh, Philly is doing bad. Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid is on a $54 million contract. Wow. I can re-sign Theo Maladone. Our boy. Damn, he's only 25, bro. He's gonna be on the team for a minute. We signed him to a three-year extension. And Terrence, Trey Man, we're probably gonna lose, which sucks, but oh well. Let's get this championship. Or at least get close. Here we go. We'll see how we are. That Thunder team is looking real scary with that 94 overall center, but hey, we beat them last year and he was like a 91 last year. I don't know. We'll beat him again. We beat them pretty handily last year, actually. That center actually goes on to win the MVP 24, 16, and 7. That is disturbingly good. Isaac on the all-defense team. Tatum made the third team this year, so I wonder how he did. Less points. I mean, the team around him is a bit better. Okay, he kind of fell off a little bit, but I mean, he's got a really good team around him. It's probably hard to put up too much good stats with that going on around you. Uh, we are the two seed, so we're going to play a play-in team. Sacramento Kings made the playoffs. Ah, that's a bummer. Um, we're playing the Utah Jazz. They got Davian Mitchell. Mitchell, DiVincenzo, Bain, Jaron, Nick Blackman. Okay, this team is uh, pretty mid. Let's, let's uh, we're gonna show them the respect, go game by game. I think anybody can beat anybody in 2K, but I think we're gonna sweep. 
Nope. Gentlemen's sweep. Gentlemen's sweep. The Pelicans. Oh, they get taken to seven by the, the Kings? Come on, Pelicans. All right. Let's just run back the game plan from last year. I think we're just a better team than the Pelicans at this point. Okay, here we go. We take game one, we win by 13. They do beat us in game two by three. They take game three by 10. We come back to tie the series. We're up and we are in the conference finals once again, going against OKC. It's a rematch. Okay, it's a rematch. Here we go. Okay, they beat us by a point. Okay, I feel good about this. Oh, they beat us by a lot of points. 2-1, we're coming back. 2-2, two to 3-2 two. to two them, okay. Look, this is tough. They have the MVP, they got that big boy center, but I don't know, we got Tatum. Seems like Tatum, all he does is win championships at this point. We win by three. All right, I'm looking across the aisle. I see the Pistons, a team we slaughtered last year. So if we can just get back to the finals, which we are, we're killing it, we're killing it. We're gonna win another championship, I believe. And yes, we got the Pistons. Once again, we got the Pistons. Cade is a 99 overall now. Holy shit, that means he is a LeBron James level guy, but I don't, is that gonna matter? I have to ask you guys, is that going to matter? I think we've got the Pistons. I mean, last year we, we straight up handled them. I think we, we swept them, I believe, if it wasn't 4-1. Yeah, I don't know, I, I just don't see it, man. I don't see it. They do take game one, they beat us by a point. They beat us by 40 points in game two. We come back, 3-1. Woo, here we go, man, here we go. Is this a rivalry? This might be a rivalry brewing, bro. We smacked them last year. They're smacking us this year, bro. We are gonna get our asses beat. Wow, okay, Kate Cunningham just destroyed us. So, okay, hey, we're gonna see the Pistons next year in the finals, bro. We're coming for the Pistons. They came for us. They had their revenge series. Okay, all right, hey, we got a rival now, bro. We got a rival now. We got the 25th pick and we got the 34th pick. I don't really wanna draft anybody. The Bulls just went to a deep playoff run, but they'll offer us a top three protected pick. Uh, I imagine that'll be better than 25, I don't know. 25 is just not gonna do much for us. Wow, we're only getting offered seconds. And a top three protected Thunder pick. I mean, the Thunder, maybe they'll fall apart by 20, 29. So we will make this trade. I don't know, I'm just 34th pick. What, what, what am I gonna get with the 34th pick? You feel me on that? Joel Embiid is a free agent. Man, I will on the sign Joel Embiid so bad, but we're not gonna be able to do it. He doesn't have any offers. He's gonna go down to like an 88, I feel like also. But man, he's a five-star system match. He's the fucking... My favorite player. I wish, bro, I wish, I wish. All right, so what are the goals? We really just need to bring back Trey Mann if we can. I think the only reason we couldn't is if the hard cap is gonna be too hard on us, which it seems like might be the case. This is our starting point guard though. Like losing this guy is gonna be a big deal. Yeah, we just don't have the salary cap space uh, to bring him back, unfortunately. All right, the Storm will just take tail in from me. Uh, for two first round picks, I'm gonna do this. I, I think Trey Mann is more important to our team than uh, Talon is. I'm sorry, Talon, I was trying to trade you for literally many seasons. <laughs> um, uh, hopefully this actually lets me to re-sign Trey Mann. Uh, nope, I still can't. I don't really understand the salary cap apparently. Um, all right, well, that was a bad trade then. Damn, I'm really bummed we can't bring Trey Mann back. That is a, that's big, bro. He is. I don't know, he's big for us. He's our starting point guard. All right, so after that off season, we are, the roster has been thinned out. We're coming off back-to-back -back finals, but the roster has definitely been thinned out a little bit here. Um, we've got a point guard, we got a power forward, we got, I mean, we got, we got our starting five, right? And we have Forbes off the bench, but that's, that's about all you can say about the team right now. So we got to figure, we got to figure some things out uh, heading into the next episode. Luckily, we've won the championship. A lot of the pressure's off, but I mean, if we're trying to be a dynasty, right? We're trying to do some big things. We're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to make some big things happen. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. We won our first championship. We have found a cross conference rival in the Pistons. So I hope we see them in the finals to start out the next episode. Hopefully we make it back to the finals. Seems like we've got a hold of the West. Seems like the West is our conference. We've, we kind of own the West. So big things are coming, I think, for the team. It looks like our, you know, the arc of our team is a little bit on the, the window is closing a little bit on this roster. I think we might go back to some free agency splashes at the end of next season. Now uh, we've got some big things planned for sure here. 
I mean, if we're if we we're, we're kind of in a good spot again, I feel like you know we could um, you know we have a lot of salary committed for next year, but I don't think it'd be too hard to get off a lot of this salary. I think we're gonna be right back at it. So I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm probably gonna upload this on Fridays. Let me know how long you guys want me to take this franchise. I'm thinking maybe 12 years in the future, 15 years in the future. That'd be about four or five episodes total would be good. But let me know what you guys think. Hope you're having a great day. Peace.